All right, so here is a quick tutorial on how to do dock-to-dock uh, -to -dock auto routing for your Navionics chip on a SIMRAD unit. Uh, the trick is, is they, they kind of hid it in here. They didn't, they didn't make it as easy as you would thought by just clicking on chart, uh, clicking a waypoint, and go to waypoint. Uh, what you need to do is go right up here top that says waypoints, click your waypoints, okay? You see here, this chart's gonna pop up, says waypoints, routes, and tracks. What you wanna do is click routes. On the bottom, if you have any saved routes, that's gonna show your routes. However, I don't have any saved routes. Now, the, the secret is, it's, like I said, it's hidden. So you have to go down here to new. You can't click here on the top that says new, but you have to go down here where it says new. Click new. And it says create on chart. So click that. So then your chart's gonna pop up. Then what you wanna do is select, you know, kind of where you're gonna start from. So let's say we're gonna start from here. And as you see, when I clicked on that, it put a, put a green dot. And let's say we wanna head somewhere over here. Now, as you saw, I put a straight line going all the way across. Well, obviously we can't drive through land. So the next step that you need to do is right here in the top right hand corner you want to click on the the triple bar that drops the menu down now see now that pops up dock to dock auto routing it was it's always hidden in there for some reason so you click dock to dock auto routing if you need to collect selection or entire route we're going to do entire route now it's going to say status is running um while this is loading i can tell you that it won't do this right out of the box you do have to update your SIMRAD unit. Um, you also have to update your Navionics uh, card and register your Navionics card. Now, um, to register your Navionics card, I, I just you know went on Navionics.com and uh, downloaded the sonar charts, the, the new uh, 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 community edits and etc and it automatically you know registers it for you so you don't have to do any other steps and the cool part is, is it updates and gives you all the the new stuff so as you see we're 55 percent looks like it's uh final pause 56 so as you see it's it's not super quick um, however, uh, it, it does work. Now, the, the unit that uh, I'm working on is a uh, Simrad NSS 16 Evo 3. Um, it's, uh, as you can see, almost fills up my, uh, my, whole, my whole section here. It's definitely taking some time. But, you know, what, what you could use this for, obviously, uh, you have to make sure that you set your, or your, your vessel's uh, parameters in your actual unit as well. So depth, width, um, you know, height, uh, length, uh, those items like that. And it uses that to uh, actually give you uh, the route. So we're at 83% now. 95, 99, it's got to be close here. So now it says dock to dock auto routing successful. You want to hit OK. And now, as you see, I'll go ahead and zoom in here on the screen. Is it created points of, you know, which route I should actually take? So it's saying, you know, I should start there, head down this direction, come around that point and bring me all the way there so that's a uh that's a quick way or it's the only way that i know of uh, actually doing dock to dock auto routing i've searched everywhere on youtube i've went to uh, multiple people that uh, work on simrad units and are unaware of how to do it it, it seems like it's a 
that's a hidden feature um, in the units but uh, it is there so if you, if you like this video give me a thumbs up give me a like uh, definitely would help out and uh, talk to you guys later